committed while the victim left their phone charging. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon joins us now in Southington. Investigation. So, Christian, what can you tell us tonight? Roger, yeah, we are learning a lot about this case tonight. Police have been releasing it uh, throughout the night. And they do say that this happened back in October inside a business on Interstate Park Drive. They say that it wasn't until this week that the man was arrested after an outstanding warrant. 23-year-old Wayne Snow is now facing a disseminating intimate images charge. Police say Snow worked in a business on Interstate Park Drive along with the victim. On November 3rd, the victim told police several pictures were unlawfully sent from their phone to a random number. Emailing or texting or otherwise disseminating a picture. It typically happens on Facebook or Snapchat, but it can be by email, uh, it can be posting it on a website. It has to be done knowingly and intentionally. The victim says at work they left their phone charging and asked Snow to watch it so the victim can run to the bathroom. 15 minutes later, the victim got back, but the phone was allegedly in Wayne's pocket. On top of that, the number the pics were sent to police say was also Wayne's. Did someone lose their job? Did someone suffer emotional harm? Um, that is an element of this crime, which is a little unusual. Attorney Mark Sherman and law professor William Dunlap say in order to be charged and later convicted, the victim must have been harmed and there needs to be proof it wasn't consensual. In a digital world, Sherman, who deals with these types of crimes, says these situations are getting more common. Don't try to handle it yourself. Speak to someone. Speak to your parents. Speak to your family. Don't, don't start spending money and cutting checks. We see people get extorted and it's called sextortion. Experts also say victims can file lawsuits, and when it comes to the investigation, Wayne is expected to go before a, a judge next month. He, according to records, he is out on bond tonight. In Southington, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you, Christian. And we are learning more tonight about a blast of violence in Norwalk.